everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I'm Lauren. In today's video, I'm going to be going over a very popular handbag style or trend, and it's the sling bag. And I use the term sling bag very loosely because sling bags actually are a very distinct style. I'll insert some pictures here. Um, whereas now I feel like brands are referring to their bags as being a sling bag if it's sort of a higher crossbody and it has that crescent shape or that half moon shape. There are so many different handbag brands that are coming out with it. I feel like the one that everyone knows the most is the Uniglow and they call it I think just the crossbody bag but that one if you look it up on YouTube a lot of people refer to it as the sling bag. Sorry Bean is moving around in the background. Um, I know that Cost also has them. I know the Row has their banana sort of slouchy sling bag. There's so many different versions out there. So I do have one to show you today that is under the $200 mark and it is all leather. I think it is beautiful. So if you are thinking about gifts for the holiday season, I feel like this is a really nice one at an affordable price point. I have one, two, three, four, five different sling bags to show you, one of which I feel like is a true sling bag style. Let's start with my newest one, which is this beautiful, deep sort of chocolate brown. I think the actual color is called chocolate raisin. This is all leather. This is from Madewell. I got this off Bloomingdale's. I am working with Bloomingdale's on part of this video, so they're sponsoring part of it. If you aren't familiar with Bloomingdale's, they are an upscale luxury department store based in the US. They have so many different standalone stores. Here in Canada, unfortunately, we don't have any, but I am able to take advantage of all the sales, the promos, the discounts, everything like that through their online site and they do ship with order free. So order free just ensures that if you are um, going through an international site that you get everything safely, all the duties, taxes, customs, everything is applied at the total price at the end. So you're not hit at the door with any sort of fees, which is really nice. But I do really like Bloomingdale's. They have so many contemporary brands, luxury brands, um, up and coming brands. They have everything from beauty to home to kids. So definitely check them out. They have so many promos all the time and they don't try and hide it from you. So on their website, they have a tab and it often says um, sale. If you go under net, underneath that, it says promo and offers. So you can see which promos and offers are applicable to you, whether again, you are shopping the home section, the clothing section, the kids section, they have so many different promos available. I will list the current one going on right now um, in the description box below and I'll probably put a little insert here so you can shop the sale because I know the Black Friday sales are coming up. They are running their Black Friday sale right now and you can take an extra 25% off certain designer items. So there are a lot of items on sale already by Ferragamo, there's ones by Chloe, Marc Jacobs as well. This one, which is one of my favorite handbags that I purchased this year, is the J.W. Anderson Corner Crossbody Bag. It is stunning. I said it would be a really good alternative to the Loewe Puzzle ba Bag. J.W. Anderson is also the designer for Loewe, but this has been one of my favorites. It's on sale for $875, but you can also take an additional 25% off. Such an amazing deal. Also running their designer events, so you can save up to 40% off a lot of different luxury brands, and that includes handbags as well as shoes. So it's a really great time to take advantage of these sales and these deals to buy some gifts for yourself or for those people in your life that you know would love a little bit of extra luxury. There's so many amazing options. And like I said, a lot of the items are applicable for that extra 25% off for the Black Friday sale. As I mentioned, this one is by Madewell. I also picked up my Madewell woven tote from Bloomingdale's too, and I love that one. I was using it all of September and the beginning of October for work until my water bottle spilled in it, which I don't know how that happened, but it happened and I have to clean the leather. Um, that leather is a little bit more delicate. This one is a little bit different. This is smooth leather as you can see here but there's a little bit of a treatment on it so i think that this one will be totally fine to wear um in the winters here in vancouver i actually got this for a friend i'm not gonna lie so this is a gift that i'm going to be giving away and like i mentioned i think it's a really great gift because it's at an affordable price point 
And again, it's all leather and it's in a style that is so on trend right now. It is on sale, so it's an additional 25% off, $118 US. And they also have that beautiful Harvest Moon color, which is just stunning. And this one has the silver hardware. It is just a beautiful off-white kind of creamy color. Take advantage of the sale. So as I mentioned, this is in the color gold, no, chocolate raisin. I believe this is one of Madewell's best selling bags. They sell on their website, I think they sold over 550 in the past seven days. So it's a really popular style um, and for good reason. So as I mentioned, it is leather. This is gold hardware. Some of the colors come with silver hardware, some come with gold. I myself am a silver hardware person on handbags, but I know my friend really likes gold hardware, so I chose this one for her. And so there is the zipper pull there with leather. And then on the inside, let me take the stuffing out. And this also came really nicely wrapped, and then they send you a little thank you card too from Bloomingdale's. But on the inside, it is black canvas lining, as you can kind of see there. And then there is one slip pocket on the back. So. There's not a lot of compartments. However, what I really like about this version of the sling bag is that on one of the sides, it has a hidden zippered pocket. So instead of putting the pocket on the back or on the front where you can kind of see it, they've just sort of hidden it on the side. So you can either wear it, when you wear it, you can wear it so that that zippered part shows. You can kind of see this is hitting higher up, but it is adjustable. So you can wear it from day to night and you can adjust it and wear it in many different ways. But you can see that it has that um, zipper pull there. And so in it, you can put your phone. It goes pretty deep. So it's on the one side here. So I would say my fingers are ending here. So you can definitely put a phone in there. You could put lip gloss. You could put like a parking stuff, anything that you need. Um, easy access to but I just think that this is just such a beautiful handbag and like I said this is on I think the middle strap right now and you can kind of see where it's hitting on me I love this color too I think it's perfect for fall it's just this beautiful chocolatey kind of reddish brown color so there are still two more holes to make it a bit shorter and then there's one two three to make it longer so again you really have the option you can wear it on your shoulder, you can wear it crossbody, it's a longer crossbody. If you want, you can wear it like the traditional sling bag style. So this is just such a great handbag at such a good price point too. And my other Madewell leather handbag has just, it's like I said, it's been really great until I spilled water on it. So this comes in many different colors on the Bloomingdale's website. They also have a beautiful cream color, which was kind of like, the color of that pillow over there. It's a beautiful, warm, kind of creamy beige with silver hardware. I would have chosen that for myself, but again, because I'm getting this for my friend, I think this would suit her. I just like how slouchy it is. So this is that first item that I got from Bloomingdale's. Really quickly, I wanna show you the second item, which is not a sling bag, but I have to show you because it's a pair of Birkenstocks. So this is my third pair of the Bostons. I have the one that's black suede with the shearling on the inside. I wear those all the time, especially now in the cooler months. And then I have a white one that is the vegan leather. So I wanted another pair um, and I really like the Bostons. This color spoke to me. So I know so many people have the taupe. This is in the color stone coin, which oh, is just up my alley. It is this cool tone gray kind of like similar to the sweatshirt I'm wearing, but it's a cool tone gray. And why I liked it is because the bottom is also gray there. It is just, you're either a lover of Burks or you're not. I didn't like them to begin with. I still don't really like the sandals, the Arizona style, but I definitely like the Bostons. They're so comfy. This is the soft footbed. I always get my normal size, size 38. I think with the shearling, I could have sized up one size, but I still wear it. And then these ones, like I said, are in stone coin. But the Birkenstock Bostons are also really hard to find. So being able to find it on the Bloomingdale site was amazing. I was so happy to get them and to get this colorway too. So I would highly recommend them. Um, this is in the narrow fit. Please note that. I know that they have um, the different fits. This one's in the narrow fit. I wouldn't say my feet are wide or narrow. I feel like they're just normal. And so the narrow fit works totally fine for me because it is a wider cut shoe. So definitely go and check these out. I can't remember how much these were. I think they're around 223 Canadian, but again, if you can also get deals and discounts 
off the Bloomingdale site, definitely do so. I will link everything down below. Definitely go and check out Bloomingdale's. Go and check out whether it's in store and you're lucky or it's online kind of like me if you're international. Go and check out the promos that they have going on right now, all the sales. Like I said, I will link these items down below. Let's continue on with the sling bags. The first one that I got, the very first OG sling bag I got is by Balenciaga. Am I wearing it right now? No. Um, I know in my last video I mentioned Balenciaga and people kind of went off in the comments. Some people were very much like, do your thing, wear it. And other people are like, I won't support you if you wear it. So honestly, if you have Balenciaga and you're wearing it, I don't, for me, I'm not going to judge you because why, who gave me that right to judge you? I don't know your life. Like I said, I bought these all prior to the scandal, the controversy. And I spent a lot of my own coin on that, a lot of my own money. Like my um, Neo Nano City bag was always my favorite. Um, I'm not gonna judge you. I don't know your life. You probably spent a lot of money on that handbag and you like it. So do whatever you feel okay with. That's all I can say. <laughs> anyway, this was my first sling or a, yeah, it's actually called the wheel sling bag and it's by Balenciaga. It's just a nylon bag. I really liked this one because it's so comfortable to wear. I think this one's sort of similar to the Uniglow, um, but it's just so light. When I would go to the farmer's markets, it was just really easy to uh, wear. I think it'd be really easy if you're going to say um, any sort of like Disneyland or Universal Studios or anything like that. It's just like a really easy, comfortable bag. I don't, I haven't looked at this one in a hot minute, but I can tell you right now, if you take a look at the zipper, it has tarnished. So that's interesting. That's also kind of sad because that means the quality isn't there. This one I picked up earlier this year. This one is from Maritzia. It's by Sunday Best. It's a Phoebe bag. They have brought this one back in stock. I don't know if I'd necessarily call this one a sling bag. This one is very similar to, I'd say, the Bag Goo bag um, that was really popular as well as the Uniglow. This one's a little bit bigger, but as you can see, my strap is really high up because I like to wear it more so as a sling bag version like this. Like I said, they do have this back at Aritzia in multiple different colors because they only had black and green, I think, to begin with, and it sold out super quick. So I really like this one for just doing quick errands. Um, it's just so light, it's so comfortable. I think that's the whole reason behind a sling bag too. They typically are nylon. Um, and they're just really lightweight. My camera died. I don't know exactly where I was, but I think I was just saying that this is a really great deal. Now, why this isn't necessarily the sling bag, like the traditional sling bag style, people are still, sorry, that's my phone, are still kind of calling this style the sling bag because you can wear it, like I said, I wear it really high up, so it has that sort of sling effect, but um, like I mentioned, so many brands are referring to the, this crescent style, I think, as being a sling bag style. So that's why I've included it in this part. And then moving on to the next one, possibly my favorite is this one here, and this is my La Mer. So again, not necessarily a sling bag style, but has that crescent style shape, which so many people are referring to as, you know, sort of that sling style. So you can see the size difference between this these two. Um, this one, they might be about the same size, actually. It kind of looks like the La Mer is a bit taller, but width-wise are about the same, I would say. This one does angle up a little bit more, so this one might hold more. I know this one would fit all the essentials. I just don't want to touch it too much because like I said, I am giving it away, but I love this one. This The strap is not adjustable, but if you are, fairly petite, like I wouldn't say I'm very tall, I'm about 5'4", and I wear it so it kind of hits higher up like that, so the base of the bag is more like a sling, and I love it. Um, this one is sort of that slouch style that is, again, very on trend, very popular. Would highly recommend this. If you can get this on sale right now because of all the Black Friday sales, I would say get it. I have mine in the smooth Napa leather. Hands down, one of my best handbag purchases ever, just because it's so versatile, it's so soft, it's so comfortable to wear. The leather is supple and gorgeous. Highly recommend the La Mer um, croissant, the small croissant. I believe the nylon version is an adjustable strap, so if you do really want to be able to adjust it, check out the nylon version. If I'm correct, that one is adjustable. 
And then the last one I have to show you, which I think is probably a kind of a true style of the sling bag, is my most recent acquisition from Loewe. I actually have a new handbag to unbox with you that I picked up by Loewe. Um, but that's for another video. So this is the vertical tea pouch. This is from the men's side. And like I said, I think this one is a true style of a sling. It's in the color sand. It is stunning. So as you can see, I will link the video where I actually show me um, trying this on too, but you can see that this one is sort of that true sling bag style handbag. I really like this one. This is probably the, this is the most traditional sling bag shape. Um, it is also the smallest. I fit all my centrals though because I don't have to take a lot if I'm just doing a quick sort of run outside to grab some things at the supermarket or the grocery store or anything like that. So this fits my wallet, my, my small wallet, it fits my phone, my, um, my keys, a lip gloss, everything that I could possibly need I can fit in here. Uh, and I really like it. I just think this style of it is really cool and you can also wear it a few different ways. You can wear it like a traditional crossbody if you want to. You could wear it higher up like a sling bag. So there's just a lot of options with this one. For all the sling bags I have to show you, but again, I will link this one down below. I just feel like the price point for this one and it being all leather and you can wear it a few different ways and it has this cool hidden pocket here. I really think this would make such a great gift and I think as well this could hit a ton of different age groups too. So even my niece who's in grade nine or going into grade nine, um, I think she would also like this. So those are all my sling bags. Let me know your thoughts on sling bags. Do you think it's a trend that's here to stay? Do you think it will be out in the next few years? Let me know which ones you have. Thank you again so much for watching and I will link everything down below and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!